Hey guys, very quickly, this is our lesson five, right? Oh yes. What are the muscles of the pectoral region? Very quickly, you must know all of these guys back to back and very, very fast. In the muscles of the pectoral region, pectoral region is the breast region, right? What are the muscles that we see there? First, eh? I'd like you to note this. Hold on a bit. The complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all, they are available in the LearnLift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type LearnLift, right? And then download the app and you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. The models are not plenty there, there are just four of them. What are the four of them? Number one is called the pectorialis major. What is it called? Pronounce it to me like be saying it. We say it is the modus of the pectoral region. The first model there is the word pectoralis major. Pectoralis major. Pronounce it with me pectoralis major, pectoralis major, pectoralis major. Number two is the pectoralis minor. Number three is called the subclavius. And then number four is called the serratus anterior. Serratus and come of pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, so Clavius and Teretus Anterior, Petoralis Major, Petoralis Minor, Subclavius and Teretus Anterior, Come on, Petoralis Major, Petoralis Minor, Subclavius and Teretus, Come on, Petoralis Major, Petoralis Minor, Subclavius and Teretus Anterior. If you get this very quickly with me, bro, guess what? We can now rock it together. First and foremost, there is an acronym that they form. They form what is called your what's your two PS. Your normal PS now. Eh, hey, your normal PS, two PS. So what's your two PS? Two P, two S. Your two P pectoralis major, P major, and P minor. When you hear P major, that's the pectoralis major. When you hear P minor, that's what pectoralis was minor. Your subclavius and serratus was anterior. Come, let me show you very quickly. Which one is the pectoralis major? Ay, 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 ay. Show you this here now. You see, there are some guys eh, that by the time you see their chest, by the time they are gymming, those guys are used to gym now, especially those Nigerian movie. You know, you keep repeating, but you keep going, 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 and yeah, that be dropping up and down. <laughs> what is what are they moving? That's the pectoralis what major. This muscle here, yeah. pectoralis what major, pectoralis what major, pectoralis major. That's what you have there. Does it make sense? Of course. I'm going to teach you breath. When we get to breath, you learn everything. Then you're going to see it uh, very well. As I the pectoralis major, you're talking about is called the pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor is underneath the pectoralis major muscle. And of course, come, come, come. There are patients that separate them as we move, you learn distance. Please, very importantly, you can see that this guy has more like um three lips here, one, two, and what three. The same thing here, one, two, and what three. I will teach you this thing as you move because they are constant exam question. Pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. The third one is called the sub. Subclavius, subclavius, from the name subclavius, clavicle, subclavicula, underneath the clavicle, subclavius is underneath the word clavicle. Look at this muscle here in green, this green muscle. Where is it? Underneath the word the clavicle. Oh, well, come. Should I show you something? This here, this guy, this bone here, what is it called? Clavicle. This bone here is called your what? Your first rib, right? First rib, it rolls, right? So go and flow it, it runs, and then go underneath the what the clavicle. You can see from the that and there. The, the first rib is running to go and articulate to the to go and articulate to the where to the costal cartilage of the what of the of the sternum, right? Yeah. So as the first rib is running like this, to go and articulate with its costal cartilage, that will now form um a session with the what is sternum there. What happened is this underneath, look at it now. This is your clavicle. This is your first rib going underneath the clavicle. Are you getting it now? This is your clavicle. This is first rib. So your subclavius is underneath the clavicle. So can we say the subclavius is in between the clavicle and the first rib? Yes. Which muscle is in between the clavicle and the first rib? It is the subclavius muscle for you. And then another thing you must pay attention to is your serratus anterior zigzag muscle. It looks like zigzag. Look at it now. The way it is coming. Serratus anterior. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. Are you getting it now? Look at the way it is running all through. Serratus anterior, serratus anterior. Zigzag all through. So, one to go. Don't forget your two P words. S, right? One, two. Measure the two PS for me. Number one is what? Pectorialis major. Number two, pectorialis minor. That's P major, P minor. Number three is the word subclavius. And number four is serratus what? Anterior. If you get it very quickly with me, bro, no stress. What does it form? Your 2PS. Go on. Answer this question for me now. Very fast. Question time. 
very quickly when it comes to creating accounts how do you create an account very easy let me give you the steps first and foremost you see create account and login you only log in right when you already have an account since you don't have an account click click on create account when you get there put in your phone number put in your phone number after putting in your phone number you click on continue right your first name of course you put in your first name there if your first name is james you put in james as your first name your last name if your last name is victor you put in what victor as your last name then you come to email address right put in your email address there very quickly james 112 at gmail.com at gmail.com then your password right oh yes those of you that like if you want to use your name your password can just be like six digits right oh yes so let me say james 12 james 12 as the password right fill everything accurately and correctly james 12 don't jump any stage if not your account is not going to open for you select education under select education of course university you click university leave secondary primary leave the others click university or tertiary click it come to select level under select level you go and select your level if it's 100 level 200 level of course all these are the university classes click on 200 level and click on create accounts once you click on create account what will happen your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class easy and direct so you see it this is how you create your account and then from here you can see that you have your anatomy here your upper limb your lower limb separately embryology histology systemic anatomy those ones are for nursing your cvs cardiovascular system your blood physiology excitable tissues systemic physiology intro to biochemistry your bowel molecules bcm for nursing nursing psychology you have access to every single latin in the app now let me see what is in the app let's say for example upper limb you click on the upper limb right you can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you overview of the upper limb pectoral region arm region fork arm hand all of them part by part when i click on the overview of the upper limb of course i'll just match it straight to my class parts of the upper limb one part of the upper limb two bone of bones of the upper limb joints of the upper limb muscles you see all your classes are there for you right okay let me say i want to start now and then i want to watch joints of the upper limb all you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch joints of the upper limb and what will happen your class will load and your classes will start playing for you immediately so you see you may choose to say okay i want to rotate it right oh yes rotate it and you start following your classes immediately easy and direct you may choose to say okay you want to forward you want to pause you want to back and um, back forward anyone you want to do and you take it forward and what happened you can see all of them very very easy and the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class are you with me so that's for that and you may choose to go back and then go to the notes section of the app oh yes when you get to the notes section of the app of course the notes are there mm -hmm. well organized and arranged for you and you can zoom in and then start following back to back and you are following you may even choose to go and start answering questions questions are there for you and there are answers you start um following through every singular facet of it and you are learning on your own and there is cpt in the app as well for you a lot of other aspects that you can follow up all of this in the learn lift app same way you have for anatomy that's how you have for physiology that's how you have for biochemistry are you getting it now for the now bye bye answer all these questions correctly well, let's go the question now identify for me uh which uh muscle is this want to go what what did you say eh, eh, eh. correct what is it called your pectoral is what minor very sweet and correct what about this muscle identify for me oh that zigzag muscle which muscle is zigzag there please so that's how it is called it is zigzag as you move and i ask you zigzag muscle in front don't forget it of course, which muscle is that? Eretus what? Anterior is the answer. So aside this Eretus anterior, what is the answer to this? It's a muscle. What is it? That's the pectoralis what? Major. Uh -huh. 
to get that very fast, answer this one for me. The muscle that is underneath the what? The clavicle, clavicle, underneath it. What is it called? Subclavius is the correct answer. If you get this very quickly with me, that means you are doing very well. You are following. I'm super proud of you that you know your two BS. Again, very fast, answer this question. Question 10. The question about the way it says the subclavius muscle is located between which two structures? Where do you have it? Subclavius. Underneath which two structures do you have the subclavius? Option A, say, your clavicle and sternum. Clavicle and sternum. Option B, say, clavicle and pet rib. Option C, says scapula and humerus. Option D, says sternum and secondary. I'm not going to say the answer. Only you. Go to the comment section or the Q&A and drop it for me. I told you. <laughs> subclavius muscle. Where is it located? Is it a uh, place? Give me 50-50. Should I give you 50-50? Okay. It is not clavicle and sternum. It is not clavicle and humerus. The answer is between option B and option D. Yes, that's 50-50. Is it clavicle and pet rib or sternum and secondary? Go and put the answer for me in the comment, se in the comment section. Let me see what your answer is. Aww. Don't put it down, please. Guess what? In the next class, we're going to look at something. Mm -hmm. Very, very importantly, I'll see you in the next class. We're going to look at the muscles around the shoulder. Mm -hmm. We'll look at a lot of beautiful things. Muscles around the shoulder. We look at them and then talk about the rotator cuff muscles and every other sweet, sweet, lovely things. For the now, bro, peace out. One love. See you in the next class. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Lane Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.